Good evening, Lizzie boys. Today I made a bit of a more edited video, and by that I mean that it's a doll hunt. I don't feel comfortable filming myself talking in public most of the time, especially when there's other people in the aisles or within hearing distance of me, so it's a voiceover. I put a little background music. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments below if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, because now that Monster High's back, I kind of like doll hunting again, like filming myself doing a doll hunt, so yeah. Let me know. So today I decided to go doll hunting at the same location that I had found Monster High dolls at before. Here I am approaching the aisle and I'm walking right past it. We're looking at the entirety of this area. I haven't been to a Toys R Us in a very long time because, you know, they didn't exist. And seeing it back full swing in Macy's stores like this is pretty great. Here I am walking past the Barbie aisle and oh, there we go, extra fancy. I'm now at the Rainbow High aisle and Shadow High. I have all this stuff though, so we're turning around. Kinda. Uh, now we're fully turning around. Here are some of the dolls that were present. The fierce dolls, the tweens. I have all these, but I will admit I've had my eye on this one, but I don't know. I wasn't interested in her, but I am kind of interested in Ray. She's cute. Here I am finally approaching the Monster High dolls. So first of all is the Coffin Bean. I don't really care. Here is Cleo. Let's see if they have one prettier than mine. No, but they do have... Eh, that one's kind of close. Hmm, definitely not prettier than mine. Here are the Lagunas. There were three of her. Uh, they all kind of had uneven forehead scales. I guess that's going to be the big wonk with her. They had three Draculauras, previously four, but I came here already and bought mine here. So there's only three left. I always put them back when I'm done. Here's Claudine, and none of them are the updated shirt variant. I checked, and this one's eye is on her cheek. That's fun. So they're all a little wonky. They're all a little ugly. But I'm trying my best to find the pretty one. Unfortunately, none of them really stood out to me. I mean, I had one that did, but... Yeah, maybe I should have got her, but you see that on the box? Her nose kind of smudged on the box, so... Here are the Frankies that were remaining. They looked pretty good for the most part, except for this one. This is the wonkiest Frankie I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Poor uh, they them. So uh, here is the other Frankie and the other Frankie. I got the best one, definitely, because uh, I was here earlier this week. I just didn't film myself because I wasn't present in person. Still, de still kind of debating getting her, but. I think I'd rather just wait for the updated shirt, because this one is the old variant with the ugly shirt and poly hair. I don't know if the updated one has better poly or what, but I've heard that she has better hair, allegedly. So here is a quick look at that doll once more. And finally, this Cleo. Yeah, definitely not better than mine. Nothing's better than my Cleo. Not even this one. So, what did y'all think? So for reference, this is the Frankie that I picked up from that store. I do believe that I got the best one that they had had from what was available. I'm very happy with them. I think they're very pretty. I have done a review of Frankie on my channel, if you guys are interested in seeing that. I've actually done a review of all of my G3 dolls, so that's five more videos for you to watch if you'd like to see my beautiful dolls, especially my perfect Cleo. <laughs> I'm mostly kidding about her being perfect, because I know dolls always have minor flaws, but I'm genuinely so obsessed with my Cleo. I really did. I really do think I got a very good one. This is the Draculaura that I got during that um, hunt on Monday, because that was when it was Monday. And honestly, I think I got the best one that the store had to offer, because none of them really compared to her. You can go back and look at them if you want. I swear mine's definitely the prettiest. She's just really nice. By the way, that was at Macy's. I was at a Macy's while I was making that toy hunt video. I was at a Macy's. I took this Draculaura out toy hunting with me today, actually. Um, I went to Walmart, but I didn't see any of the Monster High dolls. I didn't see any of them, not even Torlai. But I did see one thing that I could show you guys. I had found Costume Party Bella. I've been wanting this doll for... since people have started finding her. Since stock photos leaked. Since it was announced that Rainbow High was going to do costume dolls, because costume mean Halloween. Yay. But all was not well. I opened the box to check the doll's condition, and it was my worst nightmare. 
the her upper lip just had no lipstick on it at all i would have happily spent 37.99 what the hell's the price for these dolls i don't know how much these dolls are but i would have happily spent the money to get this doll had she have had lipstick on her upper lip her cupid's bow just has nothing on it not to mention just how shabby the lipstick looks in general. Like, let me zoom in on this for y'all. I can't believe MGA put this in stores. This looks terrible. I know that there's objectively worse flaws that you could get, but she's just, there's nothing there. They just didn't paint it. <laughs> if it had rubbed off on the plastic, we would be able to see it in front of her face. But no, none of that. They just didn't paint the top part of her lip and I don't understand why. So yeah, that's what's grinding my gears today. Anyway, this video is much shorter than my videos usually are, so I am low-key trying to pad it out. I will admit that to you guys. But um, anyway, my next videos should be some real drama reviews, namely uh, Laguna and Frankie's reviews. Thank God they were piled on top of each other. I wasn't sure which was which. So uh, feel free to let me know in the comments which one you'd like to see me review first on my Instagram, Laguna1. But I'd like to see if Frankie has a chance here, because I want to review both of them. And I'm just a little too lazy to do it today, because I made three videos yesterday, dude. You guys are lucky you're getting one today. So, uh, yeah, feel free to let me know which one you'd like to see me review. And I need to wash this Draculaura urgently. She has brown shit on her sleeve. I will clean her. So, yeah, let me know what you thought of the toy hunt segment of this video. Sorry, so much of it isn't a toy hunt. I felt very awkward in the store. <laughs> Once again, filming in public is super awkward for me, but if I'm not talking, I think it's less bad, so let me know if you guys like the voiceover and the background music and all that, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!